There's an old saying that says something along the lines that if everybody's going that way, it's best for you to go the opposite way. Whatever the masses are doing, chances are good, you need to go the opposite direction. Because if you look at the masses, when all is said and done, A, you know, are they the most fulfilled? B, are they living a life that you would want to emulate and model? C, do you think they are living a life of joy, adventure, and passion? Do you think they're following their dreams? Or are they caught up in what the masses do? Follow the direction of the mass media. Follow the, the crowd, the herd, right? And I'm not saying it's right or wrong. It's just, look, I've never been someone who follows the herd. I've been a top athlete. I've been a top salesperson. I've been a top Marine. I've been a top athlete, bicycle national champion. And I do the things that most don't. That's why I achieve things that most don't. Because a lot of people, you know, whether it's me working with some of the best names in marketing or personal development, like, oh man, I'd, I'd love to do what you do. Yeah, great. And come step in my world and people are like, oh, I'm not willing to do that. I didn't know it took all that. Yeah, that's what it takes to be an elite athlete. That's what it takes to be an elite business person. That's what it takes to produce ridiculously amazing, enviable results. You got to put in the hours. You got to do the work. Right. And it always amazed, you know, when, when I was working with Mike Filsaim in Long Island, we'd have people come to our office like, yeah, I want to do what you guys are doing. They come in and like, I don't want to do that. So I'm tapping out. I'm out. And same thing. You hang with me. You're like, what? You're, you're, you're crazy. Like I'm the, I'm the David Goggins of my domain. Like I don't work out 24 seven like that dude does, but I work out my brain like he does from the early morning to the late night on this walk, putting in. 3x speed i did a morning walk i did an, an evening walk every day at least one an hour many times two hours at 3x speed audio so six hours of audio going into my brain every day just during the walks not to mention when i'm doing stuff i have an, one computer running uh information that's being shared another while i'm working on this and you know obviously other times it's quiet and i'm focused on getting things done productively uh, but i'm still being productive with stuff always happening reading books you know the level of books and, and i heard years ago from tony robbins readers are leaders and he said look you want to know the one thing to separate yourself from everyone else become passionate about reading i said all right i'll give that a shot i started reading a lot and then i went into nightingale conant back in the day 30 years ago 25 years ago you couldn't get the information that we have today it wasn't there it wasn't available you had to go buy the audio cassettes for a lot of money thousands and thousands of dollars of audio cassettes and then i went because i didn't have all the, the the audio cassettes i wanted i went to the local library and took my dual cassette tape and would record and, and tape uh, a whole bunch of the audios that i wanted but couldn't quite afford at that time and i called it my 50 million dollar library i said one day this will produce 50 million dollars in results well, that, that tally is going. It's, it's fortunately been a lot, a lot more than I would have ever imagined possible because of the dedication, because of the commitment. So if I circle back to the wrestling world, when I was a wrestler, I did the road work. I did the running. I did the weightlifting. I did the mat time. I went to the camps. I went to the three-week intensive Dan Gable camp out in Iowa. I went to two weeks in Clarence. I went to two-week intensive at SUNY Brockport. I went to you know, all these camps to learn from the best. I trained myself, I put in the work. And that led me to going in knowing I, want, I was gonna win more than I, I would lose because of the preparation. Well, guess what? The preparation I'm doing, shit, there's nobody behind me. There's nobody even close. For decades, pff, get out of here, <laughs> you little rookie. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute to see their effort, but it's, you know, it's just, I, I've been a, a freak. For, for 30 years, bring it. What you got? Like, let's, let's do it. Let's rumble. Let's, let's do these conversations. But the bottom line, what this is all for is you got to be willing to do the work. A lot of people want the magic pill. They want the easy route. No Olympic champion. I'm not going to say no business for it. It doesn't always have to be rigorous and and uphill both ways and, and 20 degrees, right? It doesn't have to be that, but you gotta be willing to say, I'm here and I'm going there. 
and knowing on that journey there's going to be huge amounts of obstacles huge amounts of things that are going to block that journey and you got to have the discipline the commitment the determination to say i'm going to do whatever the hell it takes for as long as it takes to get around these obstacles to get over these things to get to the destination i'm a freak and I love it. If you're not, well, I know you are because you wouldn't be here watching this. You're a freak too. You're a freak of nature. You're a weirdo. I, I, I can't like get into a group of people and I'm not the type to just talk about the, the, the crap, the distractions. I see through the distractions. I don't have time for the crap. I'm here to make a difference. I'm here at 47 years old. Guess what? I've recognized I got to step my shit up because what's happening is no one else is stepping their shit up. What's happening is I don't want to leave this world so jacked up that my kids have to take care of our messes because everyone's caught up in the distraction and not paying attention to the root issues and problems and challenges. Everyone's caught up in the freaking minuscule distractions and that keeps their time and energy uh, tied up to not get to the root issues, the core issues, the core problems. And we're leaving this world jacked up for our kids. That's not right. So I'm stepping it up. And yeah, you'll see some determination. You'll see some perseverance at a whole new level. Because I leave places better than when I got there. And we've done a shitty job. And right now, the world is in a shitty place with change coming. I'm super excited of where it's heading. But we've done one piss poor job of holding our governments accountable. Of holding one another accountable. It's It's crap. We've done a really piss poor job. This is a this is a D minus, close to an F. We failed. And you know what? I'm not accepting that. It is what it is. I'm accepting that as a reality. But I'm not going down without making a damn difference. And that's just how it is. I see some Marine. Hey, Ojeda, what's up, man? Long time no see. Look, it's time for the leaders to step up. I'm one of many. There's a lot of people that see this is not how I'm leaving this world for my kids. I'm stepping up. I'm taking some actions that no one else is. And I don't really don't give a shit if anyone else does or not. I'm, par I'm paving the way. And those that are also are sick and tired of it can join along and say enough is enough and, and, and demand change and make change occur. But, but the, the reality is most are hypnotized by the mass media. They're asleep and they think they're, they think they're awake. They think they're doing things. They're doing shit. They're following the mass media. They're, they're, they're freaking sheep led to slaughter. And the, 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 the real ones step up and like, wait a minute. I see where this is heading. That's bullshit. They've been lying for decades. Of course, they're going to continue to lie. It's corrupt for decades. It, it's sick and tired of the bullshit. I said it the other day, uh, the whole Harvey Weinstein thing in L.A., Hollywood. Every, everyone knew that guy was a pervert raping people, claiming they didn't know. Bullshit. That's exactly what our government's been doing to us. But worse. Way worse. To the tune of tens of trillions of dollars missing and no one gives a shit. Well, guess what? It's wake up time. So here we go. What we got? Let me see who's here. Karen, what's up? Good evening. Weirdo, that's right. I'm proud of it. Weird and proud. Ojeda, what's up? Rhonda Keenan. Six Ps, Tom. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Maybe I do, but I'm, I'm, I'm in the zone now. I don't know what, the, it's not ringing a bell. The six P's, I'll think of it. Who knows, point, point me out, Rhonda. Tell me what the P's are. All I know is I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Hopefully you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Hopefully you recognize, I mean, what we're really experiencing right here is similar to what we experienced when we were eight, nine years old and our friends are like, hey, look, I'm thinking Santa's not real. I don't know, man. Like, I know our family's been telling us this, but I think I, I see through the bull. They've been lying to us. You're like, what? Think of that. Our, what? My mom and grandparents, they are going to lie to me. And you fight it. it. But I think enough of us are now saying, look, the shit's not adding up. The lies aren't fucking real. It's a bunch of bullshit. Everyone's believing it. It doesn't ring true. So, so join me if you're the one that knows Santa's not real. And it's, it's a naivety to think our government is not screwing us, is not stealing trillions of dollars, is not doing mischievous shit that's so terrible. If we knew the truth, we would, we'd probably throw up. The level of destruction, death, and torture 
it's it, and not to mention raping and pillaging its very own citizens. So enough is enough, man. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, it's time for change. I'm ready, as you can tell. Let's do this. See what we got here. Ojeda's there. That's right. All right, man. So look, I'm going to get back to some audio before I get back. Do a little more what I got to do before I get some sleep. Got a busy day tomorrow, but this is the beginning of amazing change that we are going to leave this place better for our children. I know, I know y'all here are similar to me. You don't leave a place worse than when you got there. You're going to leave it better. And so far, you know, it's, it's not been, uh, there hasn't been a, a group of people stepping up. So that group of people is us. So I hope you're ready. It's going to be a hell of a journey. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. It'll be something that when we reach that end of our time, end of our days, we'll say, you know what? I went for it. I did what was mine to do. I left this place a better place for my kids. And that's what it's all about. All right, James, great seeing you. Everyone else, let's get this. It is go time. Talk with y'all soon. Stay tuned. And uh, if you're not on my email list, go to either maketodaygreat.com or tombeal.com. And the show is about to get good. Peace.